Hi, welcome to the Charleston area skinny from the Charleston Trident Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. Let's jump right in. Think global, act local. With European debt crises, oil spills, and disappointing job growth figures putting stress on the stock market, the local housing market could have done a lot worse. The tax credit lifted all boats in terms of housing demand for the second quarter of 2010. During those three months, there were 2,647 pending sales, which was an even 8% increase over the number of purchase agreements signed in the second quarter of 2009. The real action was in closed sales, which posted a 30.2% increase over the same quarter of 2009, registering in at 2,749. Inventory levels decreased by almost 9% as active listings stepped down to 9,834 units. Prices tried to hold steady but ended up losing some ground. The second quarter median sales price of $185,000 was a minor 1.7% decrease from the same quarter last year. Keep in mind that this figure reflects the mix of homes that closed during the quarter, many of which were bought by tax credit inspired first time home buyers who weren't exactly looking for multi million dollar properties. Negotiations made their seasonal migration back toward the seller's favor. The second quarter percent of original list price received at sale increased 2.2% to land at 91.2% of their initial asking price. So what does the future hold? Well, our crystal ball is in the repair shop at the moment, but one thing is crystal clear. Interest rates cannot hang out down here forever. The Fed knows it, we know it, and now you know it. It's a bit surprising that 50-year record low interest rates haven't enticed even more buyers. Whether this is a short-term blip or a forerunner to a long-term demand cooldown remains to be seen. The next generation of buyers will enter the market eventually, they always do. But for now, many in the industry are feeling the suction of the demand vacuum created by the tax credit. Speaking of which, tax credit buyers are feeling a lot less stressed since Congress recently extended the closing date to September 30th for those who purchase before the April 30th deadline. Closings may reap a slight benefit from this piece of legislation. Other than that, expect the market to remain relatively flat or post minor improvements over the near term. That's the Charleston area skinny for the second quarter. Check back next quarter for the latest. <laughs>